Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Javelin Make 2 missile launch detected. Oh, wait, what? From Edie, planet of origin, Franklin Skepsis System Sigurd's Cradle. Is that what we just found? Skepsis System, the anomaly, right? Distress beacon detected, message to follow. The Alliance colony on planet Franklin is under attack by Batarian radicals. The terrorists took control of a nearby Javelin missile base and have launched two missiles at the human colony. Total destruction of the colony is imminent. Zero probability of survivors of missile strike. The kill switches for the missiles are inside the base and under heavy guard by Batarian fighters. Alliance forces are overwhelmed, losing this colony. The first of its size in the sector would be a devastating setback to Alliance expansion in the Terminus systems, requesting immediate assistance. Okay, you got it. It's gotta be what we just saw. Wow, now suddenly they're coming all in. All at once. Did Edie give me that message because I found the anomaly? I didn't even scan it properly yet, and then... She's telling me about it. Hang on, hang on, I'm coming! I'm coming! No, not this one. Franklin, Franklin. Which one... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Watson... Is it this one? Anomaly detected. Right. Yeah, this is the moon that protects Watson. Report the hazard shelters immediately. Repeat. Javelin Mark 2 missile launch detected. Report to hazard shelters immediately. Probe launched. Scans have found something. Javelin Mark 2 missile base. The Batarians have launched two missiles at the human colony. Very similar in concept to bring down the sky. Humans? Let's get some humans and, um, yeah, Cerberus crew, why not? We're gonna go save some humans, right? Slam or Overload. Oh, these are all so good. Mirana's skills are all, like, amazing. Hmm. Maybe Warp. Slam? Slam is pretty good, isn't it? Heavy Warp. Damage Increase. Unstable Warp. Blast Radius. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let's do heavy warp. Okay. This is a time sensitive one. Warning. Two missiles. Are Looks like a firefight. Oh my Not god. Sure long ago. Okay, we actually are on a timer, so let's make it quick. With Miranda and Jacob, we can definitely do some biotic shenanigans. If we have time! Whoa, that was... Ooh. Too close for comfort. Wait, there's nothing here. Oh, it's over there. Oh god. Hold on, hold on. Uh-oh. Forgot it for a second. Oh, if I forget, I can let it run out. I don't have to click on it. That's right. Enemies in front. Oh, we need a... Barriers up. It's an ambush. Uh, no, it's not an ambush. What the... Stop. What are you just... You're done. Oh, we gotta aim a little bit better. Come on, buddy. Good job, guys. I barely did anything. This should take the heat off. Amazing. Look out. I've got no shields. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Mm, not overload. The biotic stuff still only works if I can remove the shield for Miranda and Jacob. Enemies. Oh. 
barriers up. Uh, we have a... We do have a time limit here, so we have to hurry up. This might be unlimited. Oh, how did that guy walk off earlier? What? Oh my... Jacob, please move. Going up a barrier. Um, okay. Down here? We have very little time. Shove it. Taking heavy fire. Should take the heat off. Can't see him. If he can turtle out there for a little bit, then he'd be okay. <laughs> oh. oh no, my least favorite one. Come on! There are lives at stake here, computer! No. Oh, that was close. There is only one remaining kill switch code. What? Or only one missile can be stopped. Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. <gasps> what? Did I do something wrong or can I- Oh no! Oh, insufficient kill switch codes. Maybe I could have gotten more by going elsewhere. Shoot. Hold on, hold on. My timer's gone. Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of this because the timer's gone right now. And I suspect... Maybe they just want to make me choose, but I kind of wonder what this was. Oh, there is nothing. This is it. Oh, are you serious? Oh no. That's cruel. But somebody has to die. This kind of reminds me of uh, Prey 2017. They pulled something like this. Only one remaining kill switch code. Only they kind of pulled something like this too. Use the kill switch code to save your selected target. Oh, Spaceport Industrial District. Protect Alliance interests and tactical viability at the cost of hundreds of lives in the city. Residential district. Apply kill switch here to save the city and hundreds of lives. With the industrial area destroyed, this colony will no longer be viable and will have to be evacuated. Okay, that's easy for me because you can rebuild a city. You can rebuild if you have the people. If you just have a bunch of infrastructure, yeah, we have a lot of people, but people... Human lives are not dispensable like that, or at least I don't want to think they are. So, no. Okay, which one do I choose? The one I choose is the one I save, right? Uh, actually, am I reading it right here? Apply kill switch to protect... No. Okay. If I want to save the district, I select it. That did it. That looks a lot like... Um, okay. I kind of feel like I did it the other way around, because the monitor is showing the infrastructure. No, okay, I guess I did it right. Prevented Batarian radicals from destroying Colony on Franklin. Protected Colony's residential core. Thousands of lives saved. They'll have to move, but they're alive. Each one of these people have their own family and stuff, you know? Hey, that was a pretty interesting one. Short mission, but it made you make a decision right away. Surprise, we're not getting yelled at by the Alliance yet. But I'm no longer the Alliance, so... It's not really my problem anymore, I guess. Okay. Good, we're making some good progress here. Let me just check. These are all a hundred, starting from the right side. Except for Hawking Edda. 
hundred, a hundred, hundred. That's what I like to see. Destroy blood pack base. This one has been sitting here for a long time, I think. That's Ilium. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred. Oh, we're very close, actually. We're only missing this one. And then Tuchanka. Whatever is that, Tuchanka? Okay. Good. Zicha. This is probably not a human system. Tosal Nim. The sister tragedy to the extinction event on Afras. Tosal Nim was the rarest of jewels, a second garden planet within the same life zone as Afras. Similar craters to those on Afras created a dust shroud here that killed 99% of biota on the planet. Oh no. So it doesn't really matter that there's two garden worlds here, I guess. Aphras in question? Heavenly Twin, a unique discovery. Usually you only have one planet that's a garden world, I guess. But here, no. This planet has fossil evidence showing that there is some vertebrates and sapient terrestrial avian species in its Bronze Age. But now, today, there's only single cell organisms here because there was a... Yeah, the whole dust business that destroyed the biota. That's sad. So many chances for life. But in many places, it's just been extinguished. Vem Oscar, a Jovian gas giant. Vem Oscar weeping witness in Eperian Volus. Ah, Volus system, okay. 35 moons. 33 of which are visible at once. Probe away. Fancy, fancy. So this one... Um... Maybe... What was this one about again? This one is the blood pack base. I know this was like a long chain one, right? And then now we're doing it, the continuation of it. Oh, it just says they set up a base here. Okay. Destroy them. Works with me. Let's finish up our surroundings first though. And then get back to this one at the end. Urla Rast. A lot of these Vola systems have two words in their name. I guess that's just how their language is. Bovis Tor, the shining sea in Old Vola's language. This place is named for its boiling surface, rich in glowing hot alumina. Every time we talk about Volus, I always think about the ambassador back on the Citadel. How he was complaining about this and that and how the humans were getting special treatment. Kind of makes me wonder if a Volus will ever get to be a council race, but it's kind of doubtful at this pace, right? Talus Fia. A planet capable of supporting life. If that life happens to breathe ammonia. Discovered by Asari explorers, the planet was used as a bargaining chip by the Citadel Council who quickly drafted a colonization agreement with its wealthy client race, the Volus. The council would fund the Volus colonization effort in return for massive trade benefits. With uncharacteristic enthusiasm, an enormous Volus influx ensued, and, this, and the council reaped the economic benefits for a dozen years before the colonization bubble burst. Today, the economic good times on Talisphia are long gone, and modern Volus businesses are cutthroat operations. Piracy is a grave threat to shipping, as well, armed criminals see the Volus as easy prey. I don't think I've seen a Volus as like anything other than random wandering business people, maybe. A lot of people still live here though, oh my god. It's a fairly old colony. It's about 2,000 years old. But yeah, their body makeup, I guess, is just not that great for being combat oriented. And they're living on a planet with ammonia. I guess it's okay because they have masks. So it doesn't really matter anyway. I feel like the Corians and Volus should get along on some level. Dawes Atab. 
Sky Warden has a bluish tinge from its hydrogen methane atmosphere. Widely varying temperatures in its different seasons because of its axial tilt. And that is it. That is Erla Rast. Hey, if we pay attention closely, each of the suns in the system are like, I don't know, they're at like a different stage, huh? Yeah, most of them are kind of like this, so I don't really pay attention, but then once in a while, we'll come across one that's kind of like exploding or something. Zataban. There is a crude base established on the planet's surface. Communications match known blood pack mercenary protocols. There is Vorcha here. The base's material resources match our data on weapons manufacturing components. No, there's nothing wrong here. Launching probe. They have a weapons base here, but there's no like distress signal. Makes sense. Let's go. I don't know. Grunt and Thane. It's been a while. Grunt. Thane, how you doing, Thane? Doing okay, I hope. Oh, I wonder if I should be worrying about, like, the kinds of weather that Thane should be at. Because if we're gonna use him for the Collector mission, then we should save him up, I right? detecting a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. Sounds good to me. Kalosk, you'll get your resources when they're good and ready. You want to come mine these rocks yourself? Everything will be ready for the attack. If you got me the additional Vorcha I asked for, it would have been done by now. Salamol. Um, yeah, this was part of a longer chain. Do you remember the one planet that was kind of like foggy and stuff? That The one that I brought Grunt to and I accidentally started shooting at him? I think there we killed Salamol, right? And then... Yeah. Anyway, it's blood packs and we're basically here to get rid of them. I don't really remember what the whole chain was about though. Just mining in general. Oh, it's so scenic here. Oh, it's beautiful. A little bit dangerous looking, but it's beautiful. Kalosk! I'm sending back two of the Vorcha you sent me so that you can see what I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you not arm these morons. These piss-poor shots are more likely to blast the broadside of one of your generators than hit their intended targets. Maybe once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some goddamn assistance. Salomon. I feel like there's gotta be a smart Vorcha somewhere around here. It's so sad that these guys just seem like slaves. And their lives are so short compared to everyone else, too. Oh. Here we go. No! I see your head. Thane warp? Warp works. There's one guy up here. Don't Vorch have multiple eyes? A few markings going on. Oh, guys, this is positionally such a bad spot for you. We've got the height advantage. Oh, my God. Okay. Where are they? Where's Grunt? Oh, Grunt's already down here. I got you, buddy. Nice shooting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice Thane. All right, let's go. Kolosk, some of my Vorcha have gone missing. I need more if you expect us to get this work done on schedule. I don't care how you get them. Ask Garn for the extras. He has to have some cast-offs that are good enough for mining duty. Yeah, they're being the Vorcha are basically being relegated to slave labor here. Is the whole thing about mining? Is that what this is? Oh my gosh. Yeah, those four little dots on their forehead. Is that not an eye? I guess not. Let's try using a different gun. Drawing it out a little bit. Oh! Damn. Go in peace. Oh. 
to steal some shields from you. Well, that guy's a pyro. Ow. Oh, but the cryo, we're not killing them. Oh, I should be using an incinerator or something. Yeah, because the cryo stops them in their tracks for a little bit, but if they don't wake up, like, did we actually get those guys there yet? I can't tell. Cryo not always the best option. It's so nice here, though. You can hear the water flowing. And all the good stuff. Hello. Kalosk! Kalosk's right here! Oh god. Do you guys want to get the Vorsha first? We have to eliminate the shield so... Thane can do some stuff. Can you do stuff on armor? Warp. My shields are down. Destabilizing the bodies. Oh, be careful of standing next to that thing. Sorry, I'm gonna blow it up. Oh! I wasn't paying attention. I think Reeve is a good choice here, though. Yeah, just take away the armor entirely. Uh, Grunt, be careful, be careful. Oh god! He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! Through my shields! Oh my god! <laughs> this is scary. I don't even know where Thane is. Thane, you helping me out? Yes! Nothing can hurt me. The cryo doesn't really blast that thing off. Come on, guys. How do An easy shot. That merits a second look. What does? This thing here? We're trying to destroy it, right? No, incinerate doesn't work. Oh, these ones, do we have to use a gunshot or something? Like if I try doing a concussive blast, would that work? I'll hold them. And obviously we're not throwing anything here, okay? Alright, we came here to destroy. So destroy we will. Oh god. This should come in handy. And a job well done. Demolished Blood Pack Weapons Production Facility. Decimated Vorcha soldiers. But not the Krogans. Hmm. Heavy weapon ammo. Oh my Hi, goodness. Go. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Enough, Kelly. I know your tricks. Six out of six. I thought the max was five. Oh. Hey, speaking of which, we should probably try another one. Advanced training. Because we're not going to get very many chances to keep trying. Energy drain? Draining their barrier to boost my shields. So what counts as a barrier? Does a shield count as a barrier? Does a biotic barrier count as a barrier? Does an armor count as a barrier? Just the biotic barrier? Then in that case, it wouldn't be so good. Shredder ammo, infernal grenade. So we did try an infernal grenade. Reeve and slam. Barrier would let me walk up closer. Armor piercing ammo. Let's try something fun. Yeah, okay, let's try... Let's try energy drain, I guess. Why not? Okey dokey. No messages for you, Commander. 
And that'll be it for this system. This whole nebula, actually. Which means the only one left should be Tuchanka. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, about the side mission thing, it seems like it's not necessary that I leave one for later. I can just do all of it, and then whenever we need to trigger something, we can just go to the Citadel or Ilium or like the space station, and that'll be okay. So I guess we'll just clear them all out so we don't have to think about other stuff. And then after this, we should go to Ilium too, because we gotta finish the package thing. This is Tuchanka, we have to finish that one quest, but even other than that, Dranek. Let's finish up the neighboring places. Dranek. Smaller one. Hey, this one has like little dots around it. Hmm. Rothla. Once Rothla was a large ice dwarf with the statistics below. In the waning years of the rebellions, it was shattered into a field of debris by what is assumed to have been the la or the test of an exotic weapon system. In the wake of the event, the planetoid was reduced to a relatively contained field of thousands of tiny, tiny moonlets rotating around one another, colliding and ricocheting. The methods used to destroy the planetoid has never been deduced. The Krogan clan who performed the experiment apparently all died in the event, Ships that have traveled to the edge of the event's light cone observed a moment of extreme gravitational lensing around Rothla immediately before its breakup, but no other clues. A popular extranet meme put forward by Asari author Delce Orthissa insists that the Turians are covering up the existence of a Krogan superbiotic breed that was genetically engineered within Rothla. The CDEM enforces quarantine around the Rothla field, citing cases of amateur investigators whose ships came to grief in the debris field. Good for sci-fi? That's a little bit scary though, because they never really properly identify the weapon, and they can't, because I guess it was just not properly made and everyone's dead. That's why there's like li these little dots here. An entire planet just broken, my goodness. Kaleem. It is a inert rock with some stuff, which was already mined out in the years leading up to the rebellions. So as far as, I don't know, for the Krogans, this planet is pretty... Uninteresting. Door. It is the main fueling port in the Dranek Cluster Gateway System. Peldia Station, the headquarters for patrol ships of the D CDEM, lies at the trailing Lagrange point of Door. The CDEM logs all ships passing through the Krogan demilitarized zone and has the right to board and search them for contraband at any time and for any reason. There's no exceptions. At points in the last two centuries, Diplomatic incidents have been caused because of this rule. When patrols wanted to board a Asari hospital ship, a Batarian diplomatic courier, and privately owned human tramp freighters. Tramp freighters? And this is allowed under the terms of the Krogan Armistice. While the Krogans were allowed to retain their government and personal weapons, any attempt to provide starship-mounted weapons to the clans on Tuchanka is punishable by law. Nearly a millennia after the war ended, the official penalty for smuggling prescribed weapons is still death by spacing. Very small population here. When we talk about Krogans, the conversation in the front and center always revolves around the genophage, but in, in the back, like in the little details of the contracts and whatever, there's other stuff going on too, such as not giving Krogans weapons. Oh my god, the last one is so small. Zasgoth. Boring. It is icy. It's icy and small. Probe launched. Oh, I thought I was gonna get to like 2 million resources for Iridium at least, but it doesn't look like we'll be able to reach it. Dang it. Why did I want that? I don't know, because... because we're collecting! Shouldn't have spent so much on the upgrades, gosh dang it. <laughs> Oh my god! What is going on here? Whoa! When normally, like, going through this would be a... Like, this is basically a dying sun, right? It's a dead sun. It's dead. It's just completely exploding now. Vard. 
methane ammonia ice giant. Until the Krogan rebellions, it had a sizable helium-3 refueling fuel refining infrastructure. Once the solar arrays orbiting Nith were destroyed, the constant flow of anti-proton tankers visiting the system disappeared. So there's no point in maintaining the facilities, which means they are now abandoned. Today, these stations are squatted by transients, criminals, and outcasts. And people don't really care because there's no there's no tactical advantage, there's no reason to care. Launched. And maybe partially also because this system seems like it's gonna go nuclear pretty soon. Like, this is just... Oh my god, this is worse than Haystrom. Manton. This was once the most strategically valuable system within Krogan territory, Nith, the system. It's too hot, but it gave off a lot of energy. With help from Solarian uplift teams, the Krogan constructed a chain of solar power collector stations in orbit around Nith. These vast arrays beamed power to particle accelerators on the surface of Manton, this planet, which manufactured anti-proton fuel for warship rusters. In the rebellions, the Spectre agents managed to get a virus into the computers of the solar power arrays. Every fifth array suddenly applied braking thrusters. The arrays behind them piled up and all were reduced to wreckage. This has since dispersed into a relatively stable ring system. Oh, so that gigantic exploding sun, they were like trying to harvest its energy. But not anymore. The Krogan never had the resources to rebuild the arrays, so the particle accelerators on this planet have just been here. Sitting here, doing nothing. Probe launched. Yeah, it looks really, really scary from here. Is it dying? Is it supposed to look like this? I don't know. But maybe because even if a sun dies, it takes forever, right? So they would still be able to take advantage of it for a little while. Tula. 1000 degrees. Mining is impractical here because of how hot it is. Even all the equipment would melt. And I do believe that should be the last of our adventures here. Except for the one in Hawking Era, which we will get to once we do the Reaper stuff, I guess. Yeah, and then we'll just do the side quest here. Why not? And then this should be it. Tuchanka! I'm back. Just for a quick second. I will bring... who haven't we brought to Tuchanka before? I don't know. Jack, do you want to see what Tuchanka's like? Kasumi? Kasumi, do you want to switch back to the other one? Like, this is just not... This one seems more cerberus actually. This is too red. Oh, but the DLC people always have red outfits, huh? And this one doesn't seem quite cerberus either. This one seems more cerberus but that's the default one. Hmm. Let's bring Kasumi and... Oh, Kasumi and Jacob. How about that? Here's your chance. Seven points. Oh, it took away my points for the um, Reeve again. Okay. Didn't really get a chance to even use it yet. Jacob. Kasumi, flashbang grenade. Um. Inflicts minor damage and incapacitates all nearby targets. Apparently this one works on everybody, regardless of shields or armor, so that what that's what makes it good? Sure, we'll see. But we're not fighting here anyway, we're just going to Tuchanka, that's all. Hey. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. Okay, okay. The pack only recruits Krogan. Go to the clan leader. Heard not grunt, you go where you want. Heard not grunt isn't here. Hey Kasumi and Jacob, so uh... What you guys think of Tuchanka? Pretty intimidating for our humans to come here, huh? I mean, for any homeworld of any species, when you go there, it's just like all Krogan. Especially for Tuchanka, it's like in debris and stuff. And then they don't particularly like outsiders. Like, Fessia might be okay because Asari are pretty welcoming, but Krogans... Maybe not so much. Hey Rex! Just came to visit. Shepard. What can I do for you, my friend? No. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. I wonder if Rex 
Hey, Urs. It would be considered like one of the oldest Krogan around here. Probably, right? Isn't he around like a thousand or so? So is Rex close to like... Place like, well, um... Like, end of... <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Like, <laughs> is he close to... Is he old? Is he old? My scout made it back. We've got him at the tent. Doesn't remember much beyond getting tortured, but he remembers you. Said you yelled at him until he got his hump out of that basin back here. You've got a quad, human. Thanks for saving my scout. Saves me having to train another one. You are very welcome. Talk to you later. Look at the little armor shape for the tail. It's kind of cute. <laughs> they gotta make room for the tail. The I mean, of course they do, but it's Harrison just so... Was it looks so funny, that little tip. Don't touch anything. Okay, okay. His Royal Highness Researcher. These Krogan never die. In the face of all this, they just keep going. Wish I had that kind of stamina. Yeah, right? Glad I don't need it. Yes, I came back to buy all this stuff. Assault rifle damage. Is it valuable? Biotic damage. Oh, we've got quite a good bit, but it's going down the drain immediately. Everything. Thank you very much. Alright. These things would last longer if they didn't hit every crater. I wonder if Kasumi has any thoughts on our surroundings here. It's not the biggest of places, though. If we want to get more money, I suppose we could try pit fight gambling, but it's kind of an unreliable source. One of the children, Don't think we have more here? Looks like Ur's finally found some. Death mask. Never found out what negotiation bonus meant. But yeah, uh, yeah, let's try to save our money. We don't have that much. Nice knife. Looks really silent. And it fit in my hand perfectly. Maybe when we're done with the mayhem thing, I could come back and recover a thing or two. Kasumi, that's just somebody's kitchen knife. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Goodness. Okay. Now we go back to the Normandy, and next up, I think last of our little side mission escapades probably, we'd just be going back to Ilium and then Omega to hand in the packages, and then hopefully it is straight to get the device, that whole Reaper device thing. Hey, it didn't tell me I have to get the research stuff. No? Don't I have to research the stuff I just got? Like the biotic damage and whatever? Do I have it already? I mean, I guess so? I don't know. Oh. Okay, well, whatever. It's not like we really need it anyway. Okay, sure. Sounds good with me. Now, let's see here. Yeah, we go back to Ilium then. Eternity on Ilium. Ah, last time, the club at the Citadel, I called it Eternity, but it's Dark Star. Eternity is the one in Ilium. See, this one kind of looks explosive too. It just doesn't quite look right, but uh, the other one was way worse. Just to make sure again... Uh, Viper Nebula... Actually... I don't want to do the DLC thingy here, but can I do the planetary exp- You know, we'll leave it for later on, whatever, it's fine. It's one nebula. We've done so many already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are... We are pretty dang okay now. I can't believe we did all this. Why? Why? For that unknown, unspoken acknowledgement, that's why. The exact same as the Turian insignias. I still can't get over how they never even said anything, like, Hey, congrats, you completed everything. Like, just something, okay? Quest complete. Something. Something. I wonder if Liara's even on Ilium. She shouldn't be, right? Because she should be at the Shadow Broker ship right now. 
Okay, who wants to go to Ilium? Who hasn't been to Ilium? Uh, Grunt? Grunt hasn't been. And then maybe... Jack? Has Jack been to Ilium? I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, we're not gonna be doing too much here, but hey, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. And you guys can visit Liara's office. I don't think she'll be here, right? This is a recall but we can notice. check. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized... We're here for the package for in Eternity. But we can also check out the shop here, because I don't think I ever finished buying the stuff. So let's check out Liara first. I don't think she's here. The receptionist is gone. Yeah, she's just... not here. Is Ilium still running okay? I guess it's not like Liara was running Ilium. She was just important here. Omni tool upgrade. Oh, this is nice, and at this point, I might want to buy it, but I still feel like this is a bit too expensive, and we've never needed to have more time anyway, so it's fine. Whenever I make a mistake, it's not because of time. It's just because I made a mistake, so... Meh. Kestrel stuff? This stuff is nice, because it's got this whole, like, two lines of modifications, whereas most of the ones that we have right now, I think, are one line. And it looks kind of cool, too. Eh, maybe we can splurge a little bit. I don't like the helmet though because... Oh, am I gonna buy all of it? Okay, sure. <laughs> I don't like the helmet though because we can't see our face. But I wonder if there's like a set bonus for putting on the whole set. Hmm. Headshot damage, 5%. The one I have right now is 1%. Or 10%. Which is better, but this one's got 3. But anyway, the main thing is I want to be able to see my face, so I guess I'll just leave that one alone. I want something that says I can't believe how lovely your He's so bolus. Not much combat capability, but a lot of them have got a big mouth. I wouldn't have been surprised if the Shadow Broker was a bolus. But no, it was somebody else. Oh, they're they're still watching the party. I can taste hate in the air, but there's no fighting. It's like, like, they don't want to. Is that right? Because it seems stupid. Rules and words to hide how they hide. Fighting is simple. Kill the guy aiming at you. Here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. It's different. The kind of fighting people do on Ilium is not the kind of fighting that you're used to, Grunt. But you might want to learn about it anyway, just in case. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. No, no, I don't wanna, like, your daughter. Uh, uh, never mind. Just looking <laughs> around. Pleasure as always. I saw a bit of you destroying a Volus. What was that about? So then he says, Oh, Ooh. it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like. To Galana LeMay, regarding shipping routes into determinist systems. Don't worry. Our contact is a Batarian gentleman named Antome. He's one of Arya Talok's flunkies, but we're keeping his palms well greased, and he should offer a safe passage through the systems. As long as we stay beneath Arya's notice, we should be fine. Sincerely, Valeria. So they're trying to do something without Arya knowing? Okay. What, now we just go back? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, back to the ship we go then. This is really gonna be the last little thing then. Back to Omega. Apparently, for the Ish Salarian businessman guy, if we had brought Miranda and Jacob, and or Jacob, they would have had extra dialogue. So maybe I'll bring them to Omega today. Although, I don't know if they'll have anything extra to say this time. Hmm, we'll see. Here we go. Miranda Jacob, OG Cerberus crew. You know what's one thing that's kind of sad about the Cerberus crew people? Because mm. every single member, our squad members, we had a recruitment mission and then a loyalty mission. But these two people, 
were already with us since the very beginning. So it's kind of like we missed out on a little bit more extra, um, like getting to know them in general. Which is, you know, a little bit sad. Maybe that's why people don't like Jacob so much, because we never really got to learn about him. Hey. Hello again, my friends. Please tell me you have something for me. Have you seen what's in these packages? Why? Did you find something untoward? Certainly nothing worth getting worked up about. This information could weaken Arya's organization. You better be sure it's safe before you take it anywhere. I'm touched. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Oh. He's been doing this a long time. That sounds like you want to take down Arya. Why do you want information about one of Arya's men? It's not for me. A lot of people want to leg up on Arya, and they'll pay a lot of credits to get it. If onto where Arya found out, I'd be ruined. Or killed. After all this time, I still remember the first rule of Omega. Arya will find out what you're up to, Ish. I don't envy you when that happens. I, I think I can handle it. No one has beaten Arya in centuries. Once she casts down your clients, she'll come looking for you. You're right. I, I have to get out of here. Thank you, my friend. You probably just saved my life. Come on, Cell. We have to get out of here. That's better than he deserves. Really? Well, he hasn't done anything yet. He realized it's wrong, so let him go for now, maybe. I don't think a person like that would be a threat for Arya anyway. Let's do some shopping. Do we have some stuff that we can buy here? If we want to get any shopping in, we should be doing it now. Get plasma shotgun. You know what? Why not? Buy some guns. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. Does it really matter? No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. Jacob is a pretty sympathetic person. It does make me really sad looking at these Vorcha and these Batarians. There's just no chance for a better life if you live here. It's really sad. And it's very, like, distinctly, if you look around, it's only Batarians and Borcha, too. The rest of Omega is doing pretty shittily as well, but these guys have it the worst, it seems. Makes me sad. Where are the social workers trying to, like, you know, improve life living standards for everybody here? Nah, I'll pass on these. Thanks, but no thanks. And then... This. No, thank you, you cheating Elcor. I remember what you did. I think I forgot about you. Now, a lot of the poor people, maybe turning into mercenaries, like turning towards mercenary work, is how they can live. What can they do? If they don't have any skills, then even if they know that being a mercenary, doing some awful, I don't know, murdering thing. They might still have to do it, just to get a place to live and stuff to eat and all that. Captain Gavorn, head of the Vorcha Task Force. Got something to report? No, were you standing here the whole time still? Are the Vorcha gonna be a problem from here on out? Not as bad as they used to be. They breed fast, but they die young. As long as we keep them controlled, we'll be fine. That sounds so... Man, I feel bad for the Vorcha. You were the guy I saw in the Shadow Broker video. I'll just be going. Captain Gavorn. Keep up the good work. Feels like this might have been like cut content or something, because he has a name, he has lines, but he doesn't actually say anything or do anything. He hasn't given us a quest or anything, right? He's just standing there. Okay. I believe this is it. 